two years ago, I did something a little unconventional. I parked my perfectly working vehicle in my backyard, and I decided to trade it in for a bicycle. Then this summer, I thought, I can ride this across the country. So I did. I met 15 strangers in Seattle, Washington. We rode from Seattle to New York over the course of two months and 3,400 miles. We didn't hitchhike, though. Um, and <laughs> and uh, it was an amazing experience, but it was fueled by insanity. Um, exhibit A, on our third day of our trip, we were expected to climb 4,000 feet in elevation through the Cascade Mountains. We were not professional cyclists. We were just pedaling one stroke at a time. The plan worked. I broke down halfway through. I was like, what the heck am I getting myself into? But something was waiting for us on the other side. That's right, pie. Pie <laughs> is amazing. And uh, it was, <laughs> I love pie. And I basically think that it's its own food group. Um, it's flaky, it's warm, it's delicious, it can be served savory or sweet. To me, it's like a piece of art that you can put in your mouth and then eat, which is awesome. Um, but uh, so speaking of food, actually, we would ride anywhere from 80 to 100 miles a day and consume to four to 6,000 calories, which means we ate a lot, including ice cream, bananas and peanut butter, cliff bars, you name it. Because by the end of the day, we were exhausted, hot mess. We had a mixture of like sweat and sunscreen and butt butter, which is a real thing. Um, and we just didn't know how to function. But the ride wasn't about our comfort. It was actually about something bigger than ourselves, raising awareness for human trafficking in Thailand. So during those times when we were uh, just wondering why the heck we were doing this, we needed a source of strength. So that came through the power of prayer and of pie. So let me give you a little bit of context. Um, pie is awesome. It's actually been dated back to 5900 BC. That is a true hieroglyphic that was found in a pharaoh's tomb. He liked pie too. Um, Greeks made it popular um, and made it sweet. And then the Britons took it and made it savory. Uh, and the, um, I'm sorry, the uh, nursery rhymes are true. Uh, birds were baked in them and ate by ro royals. And then as recent as the mid-1800s, they were made sweet with uh, a la mode ice cream. So that was actually a recent thing. Um, but power, pie has power, and that played through to our ride. Um, even midway, uh, we stopped in Chicago, and we had one glorious day off. Where did we go? Damn right, we went to a pie shop. <laughs> and, <laughs> and even at the end of our ride, we had five homemade pies sent to us by a local bakery in Phoenix to celebrate our accomplishment. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So during those times when we would share a meal or share a pie, we were really connecting together, strangers becoming friends, relating to each other. Because as we were writing, we were writing in silence up to nine hours a day. Sometimes we would interact. And during one of those silent, long, lonely rides, I had an epiphany. Pie and bikes are like the same thing. Seriously. <laughs> like, now, now hear me out. Although you can't eat a bike tire, they're both round. They are balanced in order to function. They give you fuel to get you to point A to point B, and they bring people together. Amazing. And so when pie or food was served to us, it was actually served to us by strangers, and they wanted a story in return. So it really taught us about the power of love and of giving and receiving. And through that, for me, it couldn't have been more true than my own community in Phoenix, who supported me through fundraising, who gave me an amazing send-off, and even greeted me with pie. Richard Ross is in the room. He greeted me with pie in the terminal with Mama Tilio's pie shop. That's right. So throughout the ride, it really showed about the power of community. We really need community in order to survive. And through that, we are able to connect and we were able to have the courage to change ourselves and to change others. So you can do that by doing a bike ride like I did or just serving a meal to a stranger, or in my humble opinion, a slice of pie. Thank you.